thank God you may be seated. Amen? Amen. I'll tell you what, we serve a risen Savior. Amen. We do not serve a cold, dead God. And we don't stand on rituals this morning. I'm about ready to preach. <laughs> Woo! We stand on the word of the living God. And I'm going to minister to you today who, what, and where. And uh, uh, I think it's kind of fun as, we've, as we have adult children now, and they plan for us, and we just show up. It's kind of nice. We just need to know when and where and with who we're going. Amen? Um, and usually when you receive an invitation, there's some things that's happened prior to the event. Um, there's an invitation. There has to be an event. There's information that's needed. And it can't be vague. Because what if you said, well, just show up around whatever, and you don't show up when it's really happening? Um, you have to lay a foundation of what's transpiring so you know where to be, when to be, what's appropriate. And um, I, I'm going to pick on you. I'm still in my winter mode. Dale's defying winter. He came out with a summer shirt on. He's, I think it's got palm trees. So we're, I, and I did not put on boots for the snow. I'm like, mm -mm, no, nope, I'm over winter. Yeah. Amen. Let's get some sunshine and some warm days ahead. Amen. But we have to know our daughter, Tiffany, um, her husband has a milestone birthday this year on July the 3rd. And she called me a few weeks ago, and it's been kind of on the back burner. And she said, I'm planning this and that. And her and I, of course, I always volunteer to help her with the food or anything that we can. And so what we did, she's got the date, she's got the location and the venue kind of organized. And then we're going to fill in the details closer to time. But see, the Holy Spirit is going to work in your life to fill in your details. But I want to lay a little foundation. Turn to John 3.16 this morning. We're going to read two passages there. Father, open our hearts and minds this morning. Move us, change us, and free us by your word. Amen? Amen. John 3, 16 and verse 17 says this. You guys, some of you guys can quote this. I can quote 16, but I'm out of luck when it comes to 17. I need my Bible open. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And that today, right here, that's our who. You and I are the who. We are the whosoever. Amen? There's an outreach here, and it's saying whosoever. So this is the basics of the love of God given to us. His free love given to us so that we can be part of his plan. Aren't you grateful for that this morning? So his basis of love is freely given. And who is it given to us? Us. To you. To me. It's the who. We are the who in this announcement. We are the who in the invitation to salvation. You and I are the who. The what, verse 17, that the world might be saved. God's divine plan is put into motion when he sent his son, Jesus Christ. Do you believe that this morning? And I know I talk out loud during church. You guys just have to get used to me by when you had a request. I said, God's already there. Do you know God's plan for your life is already in motion? The who, what, and the where is already designed. He's waiting for you to step into an alignment with him. Amen. I'm grateful that the love for us was demonstrated on the cross by Jesus Christ. And I'm grateful for salvation this morning. So now we've covered the who, the what. Let's look at the where. Turn with me to Matthew, the 28th chapter. We're going to read 18 through 20. I got the auctioneer thing. I try to slow myself down, and it just doesn't always happen. I apologize. So you might have to put your hearing aid on fast forward. Does it have a high? Can you adjust them by fast and slow? Remember, remember how, how many of us are old enough to remember when you put your record player on, you had slow, medium, yeah. I don't know what it was, and then you had the big thing you had to put in the middle of yeah. the 45. I've only heard about that stuff. Matthew 28. Matthew, Dale, Dale's told me about it. 
You know what? We're not stuffy Christians. We're set free in Jesus Christ this Thank morning. You. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Matthew 28, 18 through 20 is going to tell us where. Amen. Follow my heart on this this morning. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Thank you, Lord. Verse 19, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Ghost teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen? Amen. God gave Jesus authority over heaven and earth. Then here we have Jesus saying to his disciples, go make more disciples. Amen? And I'm saying to you today, go and invite more people. Go and encourage more people to become part of the kingdom of God. Amen. Yeah, We've got the power and the authority given to us by Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we're so complacent, we just sit back and let somebody else do it. I'm not going to let you do that. I want you to do it. Amen. I want us to know that Jesus instructed a disciple. First in verse 19, he said, all nations. And then verse 20, he said, worldwide. And, you know, their worldwide was limited then of understanding and navigation. Now we have navigation. We understand worldwide on a little bit better realm. Do you believe that this morning? And I want to challenge us. And uh, if you can get behind us, don't tailgate. But just sometime, if you see my car, stop and look. Uh, we have a little bumper sticker, a little window sticker in the back of our car. And I want us to concentrate for just a second on where. Where is this where of the who, what, and where? It's Orville. It's Orville this morning. See, we're not the end of the world. And Dale has been saying this more since we moved back. God put a burden in his heart. This is the beginning for a revival to start here Amen. and to flow down through this valley and to flow through this state, to flow through the powers that be, and to see revival sweep our nation. Amen. Now, I'm not excluding Canada, but I want us to think, Orville, we are not the end of the earth. We are the starting place for God's revival. This last Thursday, Dale and I met with some of the local ministers at a little coffee time together, and we discussed some things in the future. And there are two other men in that group that God had shown them a very similar thing, that this is a starting place for the Spirit of God to start a movement for salvation for souls. And I'm excited to be part yes. of that Amen. revival. I'm excited to see it. We're not the end of the world. We need to see ourselves as a starting place for the good news. Amen? Don't, don't see ourselves as a little town that's got some issues with finances, that's got some issues with some other things. But see, we need to see ourselves as a starting place to share the good news of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. And then bring that into the people that we surround ourselves with into a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that's possible? Mm -hmm. Now, I want to share something about the who. We know salvation, and we know it's here. We cannot strong-arm people into the kingdom of God. Okay? So don't go to town and tell somebody they're coming to church. Because you'll turn them off. But you know what? Love on them. Let them see the love of God in you. Let them see something different about how you do your work day. Something different how you tackle a hard situation in your personal life. And they'll see the God in you. And they'll see something in you that they desire for themselves. So I want us to remind ourselves today, our sharing of the good news is not for us to be heard not for us to be seen, but it's to bring people into a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. Amen this morning. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you, uh, Joyce, I've sang fa I preach fast like you said. You used to play the piano fast, and they would get done early when she played the piano for church. But listen, hear my heart today, okay? The who is whosoever. Yep. Now let's allow the Holy Spirit to begin to work. I pray all the time. 
for the Holy Spirit to work in lives. And then if somebody comes to my mind, a remembrance here in town or somebody I know or somebody, this is what's heartbreaking. People that used to attend church that no longer go to church. I'm like, Lord, stir something in their heart. I don't ask him to make them miserable. We did that in the 70s. It didn't work. Listen, I say, Lord, stir their hearts. Give them a hunger for your word. Give them a hunger for freedom. So we want to remember the who, the whosoever. The what, they can be saved. There are no lost causes in the kingdom of God. How many, I, I like to bait you guys straight up. You know it now. I'm not even going to pretend I don't. How many of you have decided there's somebody you know that it's an impossibility for them to be saved or they'll never come around? They're addicted. They're in prison. They're this. They're that. They're messed up. They're crazy. They've lost it. Don't put God in a box. Don't. Let God decide how he's going to save them, how he's going to reach them. It's not up to you. But let God, allow God to be God. We sometimes try to like dictate to him how we would like things done. I'm just ready to step aside and let God be God. Amen? Amen. God's getting ready to be God in this place more than you'll ever imagine. Amen. More than we've ever dreamed. God's positioning people and he's positioning hearts for the kingdom of God. The where, it's right here today right. with Amen. us. Do you believe that this morning? Don't be discouraged by small town. Dale was out of town. It's been, I don't even know where he was. It doesn't even matter when we first moved here. He went somewhere. We never go by ourselves, so I don't know. You got away from me. But listen, I sent him a text. I don't know where you with the kids. It don't matter. I sent him a text of downtown. I said I waited till the traffic had settled down to go get my coffee creamer. There were no cars in town. Don't let that discourage us. It doesn't matter how many cars are on Main Street. It matters about the souls That's right. of the lives that are living in our community. Amen. We want to outreach. We want to reach people right here with us. Amen. Amen. And I'm trusting the Lord that there will be an overflow of his spirit in us. And not only will we reach our local community, but we'll begin to reach people even farther away. You know, good news travels fast. Do you believe that this morning? So we're going to squelch the gossip and we're going to move in good news. Turn with me if you have your Bible or the girls, will put, they'll put it up on here. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. I want to leave you with this thought this morning. That's Doreen's hint to come kill the camera. But she's writing notes. She's writing the scripture. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. How many is ready for something new? How many is ready for something new in our town? Yeah. Amen? Now, I'm ready. Verse 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Amen. All things have passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So whatever you've decided God can't do, get out of God's way. Step back and let God be God. And the person that you felt was impossible, the person that you thought would never come into the kingdom of Jesus Christ, my scripture here says he's a new creature. All those old things that we thought God couldn't heal him or set him free of, go away. Mm -hmm. And it says what? Behold, all things become new. Not some things. Not partial things. All things. How many of you want all things new in your life? I do. I'm ready for all things new. And uh, I'm just going to tell you, if I was your stewardess, I'd tell you, hang on and buckle up. <laughs> We're getting ready to go somewhere in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.